Hey guys, Az here, and I just wanted to come at you with a quick channel update uh, and discuss a few things about what this YouTube channel is, what my plans are for it in the future, uh, and just what I'm learning as I go along the way. So uh, the majority of you who are following this, I'm assuming are friends and family. Uh, this is a very young YouTube channel with uh, very few followers. So I'll try to be as succinct as I can, uh, but I'm gonna talk to you as if I know you. And if you are a new subscriber to the channel and you don't know me, uh, then hopefully you can get to know me a little bit through this. The idea of this YouTube channel when I started it was for it to be a personal development channel. So my focus and what I was trying to reach out to was people who are just trying to improve themselves. Uh, whether that be by learning how to build habits, learning how to be more productive, how to get more things done. Just generally improving the quality of your life. And my intentions in terms of my reasoning for getting into this was when I was younger, uh, my parents got divorced when I was about 13, 14. So I was really in those formative years where I was trying to figure out what it was to be a man, what it was to be a grown up, where I wanted to take my life, what direction I wanted to go in. Uh, and my dad actually ended up moving to America and then living uh, quite far away from home for like a big chunk of those years. Uh, and don't get me wrong, great dad still is to this day, but I didn't have that male role model around me uh, for that very important, very significant part of my life, at least not in his role. What I did have was partly martial arts. So I took up martial arts about the same time and it was my way of kind of dealing with stress. And I met a lot of great male role models at that stage. And then YouTube was only just starting to pick up at that time. And I got onto YouTube very early in terms of consuming content off of it. Uh, and again, it wasn't necessarily for entertainment purposes. What I really was drawn to was personal development. And I won't tell you the channels that I watch because I don't want to sway your view or you know make you look at certain people or anything like that. But all I can tell you is uh, I had almost surrogate fathers on the internet uh, via YouTube. And I know that can sound a bit weird, but you, you get what I mean. I learned a lot from people online. Uh, and I wanted to give that back. So I took a lot away from it and I found a lot of benefits. So I wanted to try and do the same for the next generation of people coming up. And my personal journey with it all is from reading a lot of books, uh, from consuming a lot of content about how to just live a happier, more productive and better life. I don't claim to have all the answers. In fact, I don't claim to have any of the answers. Uh, all I'm gonna give on this channel is my opinion and some facts that I've got just from reading and consuming things uh, during my lifetime. So. If you've been watching any of my videos or if you want to go back and watch them now, you'll notice that I've been really playing around with the format. I have a real bad tendency of A, being a perfectionist and sometimes that paralyzes me because until things are perfect, I don't wanna do them at all and that's a real issue. And then beyond that, I have an issue of trying to get everything worked out upfront before I do anything. I guess it's the same thing, perfectionism, but uh, I want to plan and plan and plan and then nothing ever gets executed. So with this channel, I'm really trying to learn as I go and be very forgiving with myself when things don't work and try to adapt to things that do. So you might have noticed I filmed videos in loads of different formats. For example, there's videos where I'm just talking straight to the camera like this. There's others where it's purely B-roll and you don't see my face, you only hear my voice. And then there's others that's like a bit of a mix of both and I've tried me filming B-roll or using stuff from online. But the messages are always about the same stuff. Uh, like I said, personal development, personal growth. So I'm gonna continue forward in that path. However, in terms of the format of the video, I think where I felt the most comfortable and what I wanted to talk about today was sincerity is in this format. So trying to sit and be very relaxed in a chair and simply talk to you as if I was talking to a friend or family member or someone who I wanted to actually give some advice to. My biggest issue with YouTube, and this is an issue that's come in more recent years, is the complete lack of sincerity by a lot of people on this platform. 
And of course, the issue comes down to, at least in my opinion, that there's a lot of money to be made on YouTube. And this is the same for things like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, you name it, any platform where you can get on there and build an audience and become what the industry now refers to as an influencer. Uh, and that word is, is, I think it's problematic uh, because it really is, it's bold-faced honesty in terms of what they're trying to do with you. Uh, someone who develops a large following, take anyone you like, Logan Paul, I don't know, you, you pick. They develop a following and then what they say and what they do has an impact on that audience. Sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative, but they influence them. So this is why companies and advertisers and businesses are latching on to YouTubers and other influencers to influence the public. Duh, you get this. The problem is, is what happens is people who started with the best of intentions end up having their their moral compass gets adjusted because there's the there's the ability to make money they now have the ability to make a very good income and a lot of people will sacrifice their morals their standing on things their attitudes to fit what it will take to get paid by these companies so when it comes to me and making a YouTube channel, now, like I said, I'm a young channel. I've actually not experienced any of this. I've not received any sponsorships. I don't get paid. I'm not even monetized as a channel. Maybe 20 people will watch this video if I'm lucky. But if I'm gonna take this into the long term and I ever get to the stage where that happens, I need to feel comfortable with the content I'm producing and with the sincerity of which I deliver my message. So that's kind of where I'm starting from and where I want to go to. So if you're watching this channel, uh, that's kind of my promise to you is that yes, it might be a small channel, it might not have the highest production value, but the content I'm gonna provide you is gonna be sincere and I'm gonna be open and honest and through the comments and through interactions with each other, we can have an open and honest discussion about how we can personally develop ourselves to be better people. Uh, and again, I don't wanna put a tagline on it of you know the best version of yourself or anything like that. Uh, it's just simply about being a bit better, improving every day, okay? So today, there may not be a lesson in that or you might derive a lesson from that in things like sincerity or intention about how you go about things. But this format in terms of me just sitting and talking to you, this is how the videos are gonna be going forward. Uh, the only issue that I find myself running into is attention spans. Now, I'm talking about this at the end because if it doesn't apply to you actually if you've got this far because the problem we have in as a society at the moment, and again, I will partly blame social media and YouTube for this, is we've lost our ability to have an attention span. We click off of videos within a minute and it's not because the content isn't useful or valuable, but it's because it just doesn't hold our interest anymore. And it takes so much more now to hold our interest. And again, this pressure is put onto people who are creating content and it's forcing them to do things that they might not really feel comfortable with. But they do it anyway in order to get people to stay, to get people to watch, to get their view counts up, to get their view minutes up, and then to draw more advertising in. So for me, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it my way, I'm gonna do it sincerely and honestly so I can sleep at night, regardless of how well this does. So I hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, I'm gonna try to push out a bit more content now, create more videos uh, and give you guys more information. If there's anything you want, if there's anything you've enjoyed, you'd like to see or hear more out, please comment below, please subscribe, please like, and I'll see you in the next video.